Sideshow takes superhero sculpting to the next level with an attention to detail that is virtually unparalleled. Today I'm offering my 12th level superhero expertise to the folks at Sideshow, whether they like it or not, on an all new edition of Sam Levine's Road Showcase. First, I'm sizing up Sideshow's surprisingly tall take on the caped crusader. Hey. Hey. What's going on, Tim? Hey, Sam, nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Welcome. Thank you so much, I'm very happy to be here. There's so much amazing stuff around here, cool. but uh, obviously the Dark Knight has caught my eye. Yes, so yes, as well So what can well you tell should. me about this guy? Well, this is our half-scale Batman. Um, half? Yes. So what you're about, saying is right. right now I'm twice the man Batman is. I was, yeah, actually. Okay, it great. It kind of works out. Yeah. This scale yeah. allows us to bring in a lot of details. We get to throw a little bit of our own design, and of course we're influenced from past Batmans and stuff. Uh, so straight up yellow and gold belt. He's got some little gadgets on the side here, which mm -hmm. were a ton of fun. Uh, you know, he's got his little fins on the Ooh, side of his armor gauntlets really over does. there, yeah. right? And you're not kidding about the, the detail you can really bring out. Look at those shoes. Yeah, and well, even more importantly, look at those shoelaces. Yeah. They're real. These are very reminiscent <laughs> of uh, the Keaton. Uh, yeah, more more or less sneakers right. that he was wearing right. as, as Batman. Yeah. yeah, there's there's a few little nods on here, just a Batman throughout time. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, this thing is just about perfect, but obviously we need to make it a little colder in here because I don't see any bat nipples. Oh, uh, yeah, we're trying to forget about those. Oh well, George Clooney will never forget. Neither will I. The Batman statue was almost perfect, so let's see how Aquaman measures up. So Tim, we're looking at. Uh, Pretty great Aquaman here. Can you tell me a little about him? Yeah, absolutely. So here we have uh, Jason Momoa as Aquaman. Mm -hmm. uh, easily the coolest, probably most uh, devilishly good looking version of him. No so, arguments. Uh, and then moving down, uh, we get to the gold, obviously hearkening back to the classic gold and green costume of Aquaman mm -hmm. with some significant upgrades, but all the scales and all the armor were taken directly off the movie suit, uh, which we got to go to the archives and w work with Bonnie. You know Bonnie, right? How long would this take for me to actually freeze somebody? I don't know, let me see. Yeah, I know, Bonnie. We gotta go to the archive and see, and they were kind enough to uh, give us a reference of the actual suit material that they used for Aquaman. So that is Jason Momoa worn. This is it. Well, oh my goodness. it's a swatch of it, at least. Oh boy, you can, you can just sense the power yeah. behind yeah. this fabric. So I noticed the uh, the trident here has some actual Atlantean on the side of it. Any idea yeah. what that means? Uh, yeah, actually that was um, James Wan wanted to put a nice little nod to the creators, Paul and Mort. Uh, so in Atlantean, which was an alphabet they created for the film, mm -hmm. they thought it would be cool to have that in the inscription on the trident itself. That is a fun little fact there. Yeah, I mean I. I've tried running that through Google Translate, but their Atlantean is just, it's not as good as you'd hope it would be. <laughs> Yet. I'd say Tim was pretty impressed with my creative feedback on the Batman and Aquaman statues, but it's time to really knock his socks off. All right, Tim, I, uh, I'm seeing some pretty great things here. Yeah. Please tell me about them. Absolutely, well, these are our Trinity pieces. Obviously the Trinity, Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. So Wonder Woman, obviously we have, uh, kind of creeping down some stairs, perhaps in a temple of some kind, pretty much ready to whoop some butt. This is all wired, the whole lasso is wired. Oh. So it actually does have some posability in there. Uh, also what's cool about this is you can also swap her oh, out no. for classic bottoms. Classic uh, Linda Carter bottoms. Yeah, yeah, very nice, right? And uh, she also comes with the invisible jet, right? Uh, she does, absolutely. I That's right, right That's displayed right next to her. Beautiful. Yeah, Beautiful it's lovely, craftsmanship. full scale. Uh, and then we have Batman, of course. Um, this is always a, always a fan favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Martin Canale, the sculptor, um, basically let loose on this thing and we uh, gave him full support. And again, another uh, cool thing on this was just making this giant Batman cape. So it's a faux leather uh, and then lined and fully posable as well. And how about uh, this handsome fellow? This orange. handsome fellow, this Kryptonian guy. Much like a newer version of Superman, we, we dropped the briefs. Uh, so he's all blue, head to toe. Now this version uh, clearly has uh, him and Brainiac. You can kind of clearly I, I see who the, yeah. <laughs> who the winner is. Who the winner is this time? I mean, these are 
These are just flawless works of art, and uh, thank you. I'm thank very you. impressed. Uh, I feel like I still do have something that I could add as a consultant here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what do you think about a good old-fashioned cape posing contest to settle this? Hmm. Let's do it. I'm ready to go all in on this challenge, and I'm pretty sure Tim is convinced I'm a cape posing pro. Okay, so uh, here's what I'm thinking, okay. Tim. We're going mm -hmm. to take two minutes to pose our Superman with the coolest possible cape position, and we are going to be scored by a panel of judges on a scale of one to 10, mm -hmm. and uh, if you win, well, nothing much is gonna change around here, but if I win, I get to be an official consultant for Sideshow. I, I never said that. Yeah, but you were thinking it, so it's the same thing. Are you ready? Ready. Go. All right, Tim. Uh, good work, I guess, on that. Okay. Okay. Uh, but look, I don't have the final say on this. We're gonna leave it up to our judges. So let's see what they have to say about your efforts. Okay. Okay. Uh, generous, I think. A little too generous. But I guess if they're in a giving mood, then I'm expecting some pretty high marks for this work. What do you say, judges? kidding me? That's not even, it's like you didn't even look. It's like you didn't even use your tiny plastic eyes to see the different, I can't even get a fair shake around here. Uh, I think it's time for you to go. Yeah, I'll see myself out. Okay, how about like a Batman cape off? Can we, do, I'm, Bat, all right. Today I got to appraise some of the highest quality superhero collectibles ever created. And I'm not gonna let an obviously biased judging panel ruin my experience. I'm still a sideshow lover at heart. My name is Sam Levine, and I'll see you next time, Roadsters. <laughs>